Good morning, third graders. Welcome to a brand new social studies lesson. And today we are going to read lesson two. Communities are different. This also is a lesson from the first unit, communities around us. And what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to go through some vocabulary. Uh, we're going to use context clues as we read to understand the uh, vocabulary of this lesson. And uh, I've divided this lesson into two parts. So in the first half, we're going to discuss how communities get their unique identity because of different geography and past. And in the second half of the lesson, we're going to learn how different communities have different jobs and how communities build around these jobs. Now, I want you to pause this video and I want you to spot some differences in these two pictures. I'm assuming that you paused and you've identified some differences. You can see that in the first picture, we can see mountains covered with ice snow and right here this probably looks like a lake and this right here is um, have you guessed where this picture is from that's right this is the coastline of Qatar that's Sheraton there right and you can see that this is uh, the the coastline the ocean the sea and that's where the city is now this picture is taken from your book this is Seattle, Alaska, and this is obviously our gorgeous country, Qatar. The vocabulary that you will come across is mentioned right here. Climate, geography, histories, jobs, landform, desert. Don't worry, we're going to go through all these terms as we read. So let's get started. Let's go through the learning objective. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to recognize that communities are unique and have different geographies, histories, and jobs. And you will also be able to compare and contrast communities. Now, let's read. So before we begin, what will you know? Well, what to know, what you're going to be able to answer is, how are communities different? That's your vocab here. Let's read. That's the title. Communities are different. A community's land, bodies of water, and climate make it different. Climate is the weather that a place has over a long period of time. Now, these words here are very important. Long period of time is your climate. What about weather every day? Well, weather is a term that means how do you feel today? So you could feel hot or cold. Maybe it's windy, breezy, maybe it's rainy. So that's how you differentiate between these two terms. Climate is the weather over a long period of time. And the weather is how you feel today, what a day feels like in the moment. Next, what has happened in a community's past also makes it different. So do its different different types of businesses. This paragraph is an introduction to what you're about to read under several headings in the upcoming pages. So let's start with different geographies. Every community is in a different place on earth. That means the geography of every community is different. If you described your community's geography, you would probably begin with its climate, land, and water. This is a picture of Seattle, Washington, and this is New Mexico right here. So remember, communities past also makes it different. And again, remember that when you describe a place and its geography, you are going to talk about the climate, land, and water of this particular place. Now, describing a place, how do you describe a place? What kind of climate does your community have? Your community's climate might be hot or cold. It might change from season to season. You might live in a rainy place or in a desert. Now here in Qatar, we live in a desert, right? And a desert is a place where climate is dry, very less rainfall. What landforms are near your community? You can pause this video and do some uh, mind thinking and answer it. So what do we have around us? Well, we have, um, a coastline, obviously, Qatar is a peninsula, as we know. And uh, we do have an inland sea. We have desert, we have the sand dunes. 
And right here, you can see that these are all your landforms. So let's see what, are, what is meant by the term landform. A landform is a kind of land. Your community might be on a flat land called a plain, or you might live near a mountain, right? So all of these words right here are your words uh, for landforms, beach, canal, canyon, cave, cliff, delta, gulf, or bay, hills, island. Qatar has an island as well, right? We know that. Lake. We have an artificial lake right next to our school, the Aspire Lake. That's an artificial one, guys. Mountains, ocean, peninsula. We know that Qatar is a peninsula. A peninsula is a piece of land that is covered with water on three sides. And an island, in contrast, is a piece of land that's covered with water on all four sides. So Qatar is a peninsula. Plateau. Plateau is raised surface, not like the plain. Pond, river, sand dunes. We have sand dunes in Qatar. Valley, volcano, waterfall. As you, these are some terms uh, that you can use to describe a landform. Now, are there any water uh, bodies of water near your community? Well, we do have uh, an ocean. We have multiple beaches. A community might be located next to a river or a lake. People who live along the main coasts of the United States and near the Atlantic Ocean or the Pacific Ocean. Over to the next slide. So on this page, number 22, we are going to see how communities are built on different pasts. Let's read. Every community has its own history. Towns are started by different people and for different reasons. Some com communities may be very old, while others are newer. Greenbelt, Maryland is a much newer town than Clarksville, Indiana. So this is about Greenbelt, Maryland. You can pause and read through this paragraph. And what you're going to read is that this community was built and planned by the United States government for families who could not find a place to live near Washington, D.C. So a new community was built with new houses, new shops, and more people. So it was a new community back then. And in contrast, Clarksville, Indiana, was named after George Rogers Clark. In the 1700s, Clark was a leader in the fight to make the United States a country. Clark and his soldiers camped in what is now Clarksville. It was a safe place for them to rest before moving on to fight their enemy. In 1781, the United States government wanted to reward Clark and his soldiers. Leaders gave them the land that would become Clarksville. Today, more than 20,000 people live in this town. So you can compare and contrast uh, the community of Greenbelt versus Clarksville, Indiana. And you can learn that this community was built on a leader, a famous leader who fought for his country, right? And let's talk about Qatar. We know that Qatar in the past was a pearl diving community, right? And then it progressed into a developed country when uh, fuel was found. And now we have this gorgeous Pearl of Qatar in this monument that represents the country's past. All right. So what is your today's task? Well, you're going to explore this link. And when you click on it, I'm going to leave this in, the, uh, in today's post. When you click on this, you're going to find a page that opens up. And this is a part of your social studies textbook. And what you can do is you can explore this link. And when you click on it, you'll find a lot of things. You're going to find big ideas. You can click on this uh, link right here, some lesson links, uh, some multimedia biographies skill activities that you can um, uh, enjoy, and some online adventures. So if I click on this one, I'm going to find a multimedia biography on Frederick Law Olmsted. And I want you to read about this guy. He's a legend. And you can also click on this link, and you're going to find lots of good information. And you can always leave uh, some comments in the discussion.
And in, on this link right here on Peace Corps, I love this website, there are some stories from different communities all over the globe. And I want you to read them and share your ideas and whatever you read and what inspired you the most. Now, what's the task that you're going to be writing about? Well, you're going to explore unique communities uh, around the globe and you're going to write down what you find out in your own words. So again, I'm going to give you another link. And when you click on it, you're going to find a very wonderful link from Google Arts and Culture. And there are lots and lots of stories on Belay and some very unique communities that you're going to come across. Please do not forget to share what you found out. I'm going to attach a empty worksheet for you in schoolwork. You can go there, write down, don't copy paste material that you find on the website. Read about these communities and tell me how they inspired you and how you found them unique and share your work. Uh, don't forget to upload it in schoolwork. So best of luck, grade three. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask in the discussion portion. Best of luck, grade three.